of things under on their masks and to cover them. That's why this morning I desire to tell you that in order for us to go to this place called maturity, we're going to expose our entire hand. The things that we know that don't line up with the things of God, they must go. We have to examine our hearts. You know, we want to be sure this morning that we are making steps of maturity, not just calling the word not just saying maturity, but we want to make sure this morning that there's a clear path, there's nothing blocking anything within us that we have not been able to confess and to pour it out before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Self-examination. We are calling, we are called to a higher place. You know, it is so easy to examine somebody else. You know, I am a person that can examine somebody real good. I can look right through you. I can see these things that need to be changed about you. But when it comes to examining ourselves, sometimes we show us our self-favoritism. We have good justifications for all the parts of us that we don't want to uncover. But the Bible in 1 John chapter 3, verse 20 to 21 says, in whatever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and knows all things. Beloved, if our hearts does not condemn us, we have confidence in God. But if they do, when we examine ourselves, know, know that we need to remove things. We need to remove things. This is not a hallelujah message this morning. This is a self um examination me me message. I want you to examine yourself because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11 28, let a man examine himself. And we're talking about the parts of you that are so deep that you've walked with for so long. The parts of you that you call your personality. The parts of you that you know you're holding on to but in reality it is not of God. 